one, men will divide themselves into two religions. The conflict of the future is between an absolute who is the God-man and an absolute which is the man-God. In 1789, the world revolution begins. France, the eldest daughter of European Christianity, was the chosen target of the secret sex. After destroying the Christian monarchies of Europe, the revolutionaries turned their sights on Holy Mother Church. But they forgot one thing. The holy face devotion is rising. France, the eldest daughter, would not be forgotten. She, who suffered the reign of terror, has been gifted with the ultimate form of mystical combat to fight the enemies of Christ and his church. The Carmelites were chosen for the great counter-revolution. St. Teresa of Avila, Sister Marie of St. Peter, and now we have the secret of St. Therese. St. Therese of Lisieux is St. Therese of the Child Jesus in the Holy Face. We have the great Venerable Leo de Pont, perhaps one of the greatest miracle workers in church history. We have the great miracle of 1849. The veil began to glow, a light glow. An image came forth of, of the face of our Lord. The Holy Face devotion is for the defeat of communism. The timing was no coincidence. If there are five of us praying, we can pursue a hundred of our enemies. If there are a hundred of us praying, we can pursue 10,000. How is this possible? Because the Lord will fight for us. He will destroy evil in the hearts of mankind. The great counter-revolution under the banner of the Holy Face has only just begun. The Armada of the Holy Face are uniting all Holy Face Apostolates and devotees into one global fleet. The Armada of the Holy Face seek to promote devotion to the Holy Face, to unite and to coordinate efforts of prominent individuals and group devotees of the Holy Face in teaching and promoting the devotion to assist the Arch Confraternity of the Holy Face in its revival and mission and to defend the authentic relic and its attachment to the obligation and promises associated with the devotion. We have been given the spiritual weapons for the mystical combat for our age. The Chaplet of the Holy Face, the Holy Rosary, and the Golden Arrow Prayer. O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, and all the other instruments of his holy passion, that thou may put division in the camp of thine enemies. For as thy beloved Son has said, a kingdom divided against itself shall fall. Well, my daughter, it is the communists who have dragged me from my tabernacles, profaned and despoiled my sanctuaries, and have even dared to raise their hands against the anointed of the Lord. But their designs shall be frustrated. Errors of communism have now spread across the world using the weaponized lies of Marx and Darwin to extinguish the flame of faith in our children. The battle against communism is not lost because their nemesis is our greatest ally. We sail under the guidance and protection of Our Lady of the Holy Name of God. 
great Immaculata is the Queen of the Armada. The more the army of God is augmented, the more the army of Satan will be weakened. He commanded me to cross swords with the communists. Why is it that so few realize the seriousness of our present crisis? Men do not want to believe their own times are weak. Only those who live by faith really know what is happening in the world. From now on, the struggle will not be for colonies and national rights, but for the souls of men. We are the armada of the holy face.